with your mommy, your daddy, say daddy, what you said, I wish you would have said it this way. We are all at fault. And we are all at fault because we are human. And so we'll find an appropriate time and discuss that with your mommy or your daddy. And I think that would help. And if, you know, after talking to your dad, Yes, dad, 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 take me to Chick-fil-A. Yes, dad. 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 Longest too. I mean, we are Thank you for letting us be able to discuss what it means to raise our children in the Lord. Maybe we can this information for later on. So that our children will also raise their own children in the way we want them to. And our parents will also listen. In the name of Jesus, may we be safe on our way back home. And may everybody here that is coming up on this microphone have the confidence and boldness to say what they need to say. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. 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 Good morning, church. Good morning. I'm so happy to see everybody. You guys are all welcome to the annual Children's Day. just like that. And I believe you're going to excuse us of any mistakes that we do. But today, we believe the Lord is going to minister to us. Amen. Amen.
Let's all arise. Amen. And exalt, the, and exalt God for releasing his grace upon us all these years. His grace sustained us and preserved us and faithful. us. Exalt God for his tender mercies. Begin to honor God with your lips. Open your heart and praise God. Sick, wonderful, kind, awesome, uncomfortable, undesirable, and beyond exceptional. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Do not hinder them. So we are not going to hinder you in any way. We want to make sure that the Lord will use you. Even if there is a little nervousness, don't worry. We all get nervous. I'm nervous, but I'm okay. <laughs> so uh, the Lord is going to use you. And at the end of this session, you will know that we can edify from what we said. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon. All right, we shall proceed with the song ministration from our lovely sister, Sister Stacy Deborah. Amen. Give it to her, please. I'm going to record you.
today pleading for you to empower us. Empower us to believe in our abilities and potentials for positive growth. Empower us to be independent and to make decisions on our own. Empower us to rely on our inner strength to overcome 
difficulties and challenges. A friend to us that it's okay to tell the truth, even if it hurts, rather than lying. Empower us to be compassionate, generous, and show respect to the elderly and peers. Nurse with us critical thinkers to develop problem solving skills, to be a team player, to have leadership qualities, to develop our communication skills, and also to be emotionally skilled. Mom, Dad, don't give up on us. Fight for us. Sacrifice for us. Make time for us. Bond with us. Learn what work to play with us. Train us to become excellent adults. Applaud us when we do good. And correct us with love when we falter. Thank you. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect them for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will deal with him in troubles. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and give him my salvation. Amen. Amen. God is not mocked, for whatever one sows, that he will also reap. Amen. Yeah. 
keep chapter one verse verse one to three. He who dwelleth in the secret place of the of the Most High shall abide by the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortune. In Him I will trust. Amen. Amen. Surely He shall deliver thee the the snare from the fowler and and the noise some for stones. Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me to the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Ye though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. His rod and his staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Psalm 16, 33. Um, 16, 33. I have said this to you. In me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation. Amen. 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 Psalm 16, 34. Psalm 16, 26 verse 10, be still and know that I'm in God. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 17, fear God and keep his commandments. Thank you guys so much. Please give them a round of applause. And then in group two, I have Kojo, uh, Olivia, and Kofi. Olivia, uh, yeah, Melvia. No, I'm yeah, I was. Melvia, <laughs> 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 they don't allow you. It's okay. Auntie Stacy. <laughs> okay. Melvia. I can give you my bell here. All right. So as we know the rules of this game, I'm going to say it because the church wants to know. But I will say the, the Bible verse three times with 20 seconds timer. The Bible verse will be set three times to 20, 20 seconds time, excuse me. Um, you shall not touch the Bible or bring the Bible down unless I said go. If two of you get to the same place at the same time, whoever's voice I hear the most, the loudest, is going to accumulate the points. Three points each for each group. 1.5 for maybe something happened. Hopefully not. And then if it's a tie, we do rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And then you pick against who you want to go. You guys don't let Stacy do this thing to you again. Just, just telling you. Okay. You ready? 
Mm. Open to the book of Habakkuk. Open to the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. The verse is, Behold, be proud. His soul is not upright in him, but he just just lived by the place. It's different versions, but they should be similar. But they are not similar. What he read is different. That's why I said we read it again. Yeah. Okay. Zero, zero. Mel, be at six chords for me. Zero, zero. All right. Let's That's open not, to the real. book, da, 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 the book of Hebrews. Open to the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 11 verse 1. It's Hebrews 11 verse 1. Again, Hebrews 11 verse 1, go. Second Corinthians ten verse four. Second Corinthians ten verse four. Second Corinthians ten verse four. Go. book of John. Second book of John chapter 1 verse 13. The second book of John chapter 1 verse 13. Go. Lamentations 4.10. Lamentations 4 verse 10. I mean, yeah, chapter 4 verse 10. Lamentations 4 10. Oh. 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 You're out of this room. Cancel. Cancel. Come on. Sort on your head. Yeah. No, this one is cancel. Because I already told you guys. Oh, look. 
All right, let's open to the book of Malachi. Let's let's open to the book of Malachi. Malachi three verse eight. Malachi three verse eight. Malachi three verse eight. Go. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. All right, two to one. Three, okay. No, it's three one. Stacy, you're in my church. Okay, let's go to the book of, let, yeah, the book of John. John chapter 3, verse 13. John chapter 3, verse 13. John, I mean James, excuse me. James chapter 3, verse 13. Okay, let me say it again. James 3, 13. James, don't give me a side eye. James 3, 13. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so my dirty said it was a tie, but my Mary said it was a tie, so we'll go with Pastor Mary. <laughs> Alright, it's a tie, so 0. 0.5. 3.5, 1.5. No, you're not cheating. Your dad said it was a tie. <laughs> We have to go with the majority. <laughs> no. We don't, we, don't, we don't gotta do all of that. Hold on. Guys, for me now. Yeah. Okay. Let's open to the book of Emos. Emos. Amos. Amos. <laughs> Let's open to the book of Amos. Amos 7, verse 6. Amos chapter 7, verse 6. Amos 7, verse 6. Go. Oh, Lord. Please pray, oh, that they come in. You read five, six. Nah, you said, oh, Lord, sees. That's what I heard. You said, oh, Lord, sees, I pray. Five. Five says, oh, Lord, sees, I pray. Oh, Jacob may stand. And then the other one says, so the Lord. Getting to the page and reading the wrong thing is different from getting to the page and reading the right thing. We'll take the round again. So I'm not giving the point to anybody. We'll take the round again. No, not the same verse. No, not the same verse. Okay, let's go to the book of Zephaniah. <laughs> the book of Zephaniah, Zephaniah, I don't know, but chapter 2, verse 10. Heavy on the verse, chapter 2, verse 10. Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 10. Zephaniah is different from Zachariah, just so you know. Okay, chapter 2, verse 10. Go. Okay, Stacy got it. Well, read it. I said whoever 
Boys here as boys I hear the loudest. We did. What else is we not loud? We did. Right. You do that size. Don't make it that size. She'll pick you. And you know how it went. <laughs> Alright, we are trying to get to five points. Let's go to the book of Judges. Let's go to the book of Judges. Judges chapter 8 verse 9. Judges chapter 8 verse 9. Judges chapter 8 verse 9. Go. Okay, let's go to the book of Ezra. Quick, 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 quick. We are running out of time. Let's get to the book of Ezra. Yes, she should. Ezra chapter 8 verse last 19. One, one. Ezra chapter 8 verse 19. Ezra chapter 8 verse 19. Go. Okay, they got it. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's go to the book of Nahum. Nahum. Whatever. Whatever. That's a problem. But let's go to the book of Nahum. Chapter 3, verse 27. Chapter 3, verse 27. Chapter 3, verse 27. Go. Who are you going against? <laughs> no. No. No, 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 no. It can no, it cannot be either you or Olivia. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. To break the tie. No. 
open. I want to ask you guys to open channel like, we are almost, okay. Open to the book of Arts. Acts. Acts. Open to the book of Acts 13, verse 8. Acts 13, verse 8. Acts 13, verse 8. Go. Okay. going to give you guys afterwards i will call upon auntie tina to give us the the the, the other auntie the other auntie tina to do the gift presentation for us yeah tina number two <laughs> oh okay so we are starting with the second place this is the second group they got. Second, second, so. Go feet. Quick, 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 move. Yes, you still gotta get. Quick, quick, move. Okay, so this is for um, the second um, position, uh, Bible quiz. Okay, so we're going to call upon Mrs. Tina Deborah to come and do a quick something something and then yes, so please give her a round of applause please. Amen. Whilst we are waiting for the second half, our kids said they need money to fund the children's ministry. Money we have given. We've been teaching, giving, and we've been learning giving since last three weeks. Amen? So whilst they're going to change, let's do this for God. Time is the past time. Amen. Money time, giving. Parents, you have to show some love. Okay, next year they have to travel for Naba or Nabaya. And if they have money in the conference, they don't have to contact the church or the parents. So we need to fund them to go for Nabaya this year. So this is the book. Once you put it here and you take it, so if you want to help the children, they gave me an amount. And they said if I don't, I don't get to that amount, I have to come up with it anyhow. <laughs> Yes, you can cash out to me, please, to my number, please. So if you want to help, 
more than hundred dollars, please, this is the goal. If you want to help the children, a hundred dollars, you can catch up. My number is 443 839 8389 they can write their name, we need their email, their phone number, their address. Everything should be on it. In case they don't pay, we can visit them. Zell, cash up, same number, 443 839 8239. 443 839 Papa, God bless you. $100. $50. Zell, thank you. God bless you, Mr. Soja Man. $50. Kasha, God bless you. Bless him. $50, $150. This is the boat. The boat is almost empty. They gave me $1,000. They said I should raise $1,000. If not, I have to come up with a difference. And I only have like, hey. I mean, so I have to use my whole paycheck to pay them. Please, please bail me out, or me out. <laughs> Amen. Okay, twenty downwards. Twenty downwards. Twenty downwards. Whatever you want to give to the children, twenty. God bless you, Auntie. God bless you, Kasha. Thank you. God bless you. Twenty. Now we are doing like that. Twenty. Kasha, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'll come. I'll come over. I'll come around. Twenty dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Kasha? Hey, my Kasha will be flooding today. <laughs> Kasha. Twenty dollars. Ten. Okay, now below ten. Dollar. For Benjamin, right? Bring the Benjamin. How much is it? Oh, Twenty dollars. God bless you. God bless you. Now bring Benjamin. Dollar. A dollar. Dollar. Cash up? Don't cash me one dollar. Don't cash me no one dollar. Amen. God loves a cheerful giver. Okay, this is for our children. So next year they will be you know, happy to go wherever they want to go. God bless you, parents. We love them. They know we love them. So this is a little talking. Showing our love towards the children ministry. God bless you. Amen. 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 Kasha? Zell. No. Okay. I have my I see them. Oh, no. Amen. Bring your sentiment to bring it. We take our things. Oh, no. They can't do that. Amen. Once we are waiting. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. For the Bible tells me so, let all want to be long, they are with a peace. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yeah, yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. Yeah, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yeah, Jesus loves me.
One church is time to welcome our guests to perform the choreograph. Let's give it up to them.
Okay, so one last entertainment, but educational. We have a, set up a play, and the play is about Job. So we are preparing to cast live movie. This one is live. So please give him a round of applause as he comes up. There was a man in the land of Oz whose name was Job, and that man was blameless and upright, and one who got and shunned evil. And seven sons and three daughters were born to him. Also, his possessions were seven thousand sheep, three thousand camels, five hundred yoke of oxen, five hundred female donkeys, and a very large household, so that this man was the greatest of all people of the East. And his sons would go and feast on their houses, each on his appointed day and would send and invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. So it was, when the days of feasting had run their course, that Job would send and sanctify them, and he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came unto them. Where did you come from? Just walking, just walking back and forth between the heavens and the earth. Have you considered my son Job? He's upright and blameless. Oh, come on. He is only faithful because you bless his handwork. Take everything from him and you will see. He will surely curse you to your face. Everything he has is in your power. Now there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And the messenger came to Job. Oh, master, master, master. All the servants of the ox now be killed. Oh, Master, have you heard? All the camels have been taken, stolen, and all your servants are dead. A strong wind blew the house that your kids were eating, and your kids are dead. I came to this earth naked, and naked I will return. Only God gives and God takes. Praise be unto the Lord. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Did Satan you? came also among them to present himself before the Lord. Satan came to God to let him know about the more pain he's going to inflict on Job again. The Lord only told him to spare Job's life. Satan then inflicted sores and wounds unto his body and his person. My husband, why do you still hold fast your integrity? For goodness sake, our children are all dead and you've lost everything you once owned. Why can't you just curse God and die? I cursed the day I was born. May the darkness and, and ashes of death claim me. Oh, really? <laughs> now, when Job's three friends heard of all this adversity that had came up upon him, each one came from his own Carol. place. Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Suhite, and Zephar the Nemethite. For they had made an appointment together to come and mourn with him and to comfort him. And when they raised their eyes from afar and did not recognize him, they looked at their voices and eyes and wept. Each one tore his robe and sprinkled dust on his head toward heaven. So they sat down with him on the ground seven days and seven nights, and no one spoke a word to him. 
for they saw that his grief was very great. We know God is just, which means God run the world according to justice. Hence, Job, you must have sinned. I am innocent. God is no divine justice. Hence, God is unjust. Job laid a series of curses upon himself on the day he was born. Job went back and forth for a long time. After the back and forth, God finally shows up to Job and took him on a virtual tour of the world. Who is, who, who is this who darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Now prepare yourself like a man. I will question you, and you shall answer me. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Tell me, if you have understanding, who determined its me measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? To what were its foundations fastened? Or who did it? Or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together, and all sons of God shouted for joy. Or who shut in the sea with doors? when it burst forth and issued from the womb. When I, made the when I made the clouds its garment and the thick darkness its swaddling band, when I fixed my limit for it and set bars and doors. I know you are a God and you do everything. No purpose of yours can be held against you. Therefore, I will abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. Job, God accepted Job's apology and restored Job's losses. God gave him twice as he had. Job lived happily ever after. He died old and full of days. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Job. All right, go. All right. Thank you so much. We have one last performance. The kids are going to sing. We know we can never do without them. So they are going to give us their performance, and then we wrap our performances up, and we start preaching. All right. Let me have you guys. the house of the Lord without a sermon. So uh, I will call upon my brother. 
Kofi to come and bless us. This quarter of the church is going through a theme, stewardship. And for this month, we are dealing with our bodies, and I believe we will pay attention to our bodies as we live our lives to please Him. The body has many parts and, and functions as well, making the body healthy. Our Creator, Almighty God, in His wisdom, wants us to be fruitful and multiply in all aspects of our lives. As Christians, we are entreated to keep our members of our bodies in check and not to do defiles the body and set the thick wall between God and call us sin. Members of our body includes our eyes, ears, mouth, nose, and etc. And all are presented as a living sacrifice, holy and accepted to God. Some of the thick clouds are pride, greed, bad friendships, social media influences, fighting in school, smoking, drinking alcohol, stealing, our lust to have things or to show off to our friends, Etc. These sway us from the presence of God, and that would make us miserable and eventually lead us to total condemnation. I want to highlight that the world has a standard of which God is working through our parents and church and helping us not to confirm this standard, but to be transformed by renewing of mind. Romans 12, 1 to 2 says, In order not to put weight on us, we are encouraged to put off every behavior and attitude that is not of God given. But not, but put on our new lives in God, such as righteous peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, which is also the kingdom of God. My brothers and sisters, Colossians 4, 5 to 6 tells us to walk in the wisdom, relating to our friends, seasoning our words with salt, and which God is responding to everyone. Since we are blessed by God, he tells us not to walk in counsel of ungodly in Psalms 1, and as a result, we must be watchful of places we go and times we hang out, since times are evil. As children, our jobs are to obey the Lord in all aspects of our life. As we go to school, we will learn our Bibles, pray every day, and help our friends. We need our help so that we can be examples and show them the right way of God. The story of Gehazi warns us to focus on God, listen to advice from our parents and mentors, and focus on our education. Elisa, a holy prophet, a man of God, has one servant and proves a base liar. The love of money, the root of all evil, was at the bottom of Gehazi's sin. He thought tricking the prophet, but as soon as he found that the spirit of prophecy could not be deceived and of the vain to lie to the Holy Spirit, he that covers his sin shall not prosper, particularly a lying tongue is but a moment Proverbs 28, 13, all the deceitful hopes and deceives of carnital and are open before God. I want to abolish everyone that is not a good time to increase wealth when we can only do it in such ways as this are dishonorable to God. Gehazi was punished. If he will have no man's money, he have deceived with it. What was Gehazi's prophet? Thought he gained the gifts of men he lost his health, honor, education, his peace, services, and if he repented before the prophet, he probably would have saved, he would have been saved from the disease of leprosy. Let us be beware of hypocrisy, which are the curse of spiritual leprosy remaining in our souls. I am encountering everyone and encouraging everyone today to focus on God and not to pay attention to any worldly system. May the Lord richly bless everyone. kids for a very good you know show for ministering to us um, my brother just highlighted on our team for the quarter and then also gave us the word um, because the kids will be going to school 
he highlighted the importance of going the godly way and not going the world way. And he highlighted the, the standard of the world and that God encourages us not to move in that standard. And he used Gehazi's story is in 2 Kings chapter 5 from verse 20 to 27 talked about a captain somebody who went you know to Israel because he was sent by the king of Syria to go to Israel so that he will be healed and a letter was given to them to take it to the king of Israel and the Bible says that when when um, the letter got to the king the king wept bitterly and what saddens my heart was that the king said am I God to heal somebody with such a dreadful disease. And when the prophet Elisha heard it, Elisha told them to bring this man to him. And that when, when the, the captain came there and Elisha saw, Elisha did not even go to meet him. All that the, Elisha did was to tell the captain to go to the river Jordan and dip himself seven times. But the captain thought because of his stature, because of who he, he was, there was no need for him to do that because they had better rivers in Syria. Moving forward, when, when he obeyed and he got healed, the servant of Elisha ran after this great man to look for gifts when the, the the prophet had denied the gifts perhaps the captain would have thought the healing that he got he paid for it and so elisha didn't even make that move but the servant went and lied and when he came back elisha asked him was not my spirit with you was not God's spirit with you. And the point we are getting out of here for our kids is that as you go back to school, remember that your parents' spirit, the spirit is with you. And remember that God's spirit is with you. And under no circumstance should you succumb or under no circumstance should you follow your friends at the expense of your life. At the end of the day, Gehazi got the disease of Naaman instead of getting the blessing of God. If we want to be blessed by God, let us study. Let's listen to our teachers, our mentors, our parents. Let us not go by our own minds. If we do that, we may not get to where God wants us to be. And I want to encourage everyone, as we go back to school, let your books be number one. Don't let your friends be number one. Amen. 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 You are there because of your books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as as we we bring the program to a close, I will give it to the chairman. The chairman. Thank you very much, Pastor uh, John. Uh, I'd like to say that we. Uh, Really going to uh, pass our time and uh, do it real quick. Um, when they were singing, the Jehovah, Jehovah, you know how they sang it. Jehovah, hey, Jehovah, Jehovah, hey. I said this one: if God were to be sleeping, He would wake up. <laughs> But but Psalm 121 tells us uh, I'll lift up my 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 verse four. It says what? Verse four. It says, Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber no more. Sleep. He does not sleep. And I'll just conclude with, 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 with the last few verses of this uh, of Psalm 121. I just want to I just want to go to Psalm 82 very briefly and then and, and Psalm 82 verse. Uh, I'm sorry, Psalm 8 verse 2. Psalm 8 verse 2. Psalm 8 verse 2. 
The psalmist says, From the mouth of infants and babes and nursing babes, you have established strength. Okay? And this is the popular verse. You know, these when I read the Bible, I read it more fully, you see. Uh, we all learn uh, these verses, but we sometimes we learn them in isolation. And we need to look at context and everything. Just to see. It says, because of your adversaries, to make the enemy and the revengeful cease. In the other version, it says that to, 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 to silence. Let me see. Uh, let's, let's see the next verse. Okay, that's the same thing. Back, back to, to silence the what? The, the enemy and the foe. And it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. This is the word of God. When children get together, when they're taught and they understand what, what, what they're saying, it does a lot. The noise, the aid, is not for it. Will, it's going to silence hell. It's the, the, the devil. It's meant for the devil. Okay? Uh, it's going to shake the devil. And, uh, and, and when you do this, it means that you are, when you do this, it means you are doing battle. You are doing battle. And we need to, 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 to pray for our children. And that prayer, that blessing, is in the end of Psalm 121. Let's see. And I'll just conclude. Psalm 121. Back to Psalm 121. Verse 4, I think. Psalm 121, verse 4. Behold, kids, behold, what you've done came out of your heart, not just your head, not only your head. You've bled and you're committing it to memory, but it's going to stay with you and stick with you. Let's conclude. Okay, let me just read from here. Behold, he who keeps his own will neither slumber nor sleep. Let's go. Keep going. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth. And forevermore. Amen. Amen. Now, now we've all seen what the children have been taught and are capable of doing. And we need to encourage them. If you have a child somewhere and uh, you do not hinder them, right? The very, very first bit. Do not hinder them. I just want to say thank you to all the teachers. We need more teachers. We need people who are dedicated. You don't have to be here every Sunday, but we can help out. And uh, continue teaching them at home so they will hold on to what they've been taught here. And they will grow to be the men and women that, that the Lord is, is, has appointed them to be. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Shall we be on our feet? Shall we be on our feet? Uh, before we, we, we pray, uh, uh, we have a very important guest in our midst. Brother, can you come up front? Hey, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He came all the way from Virginia. You've moved to Maryland. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So why don't you introduce yourself and then what we are trying to do with the DMV kids and everything. All right. So God bless you. Thank you. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Daryl Husu. I'm the youth leader at Word and Spirit Baptist Church. That's in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. I recently moved to Maryland, so I wanted to come. And, you know, I wanted to come and fellowship with you guys sometimes since I moved to the area. But I also came because uh, Sister Victoria well, kind of invited me because we're having a youth day. So I wanted to check and see, and it was wonderful. It was very beautiful. So uh, clap for yourselves. Amen. But um, just really briefly before, I just want to kind of um, encourage everyone. This is something that we want to do amongst the youth in the DMV. So uh, right now we don't have any churches in DC, but in Maryland and Virginia, we have several churches, about seven. We've all teamed up to unite our, our forces, to unite our youth together. So the leaders are there, our youth are there. We're doing groups, I think, Two or three weeks ago, we had a cookout amongst ourselves. 
a lot of us came. I saw some some members from Peace Baptist came. And we had a great and awesome time. And I think that I thank God for is we have unity. People are seeing the vision that we can't be divided if we want to do God's work. If we want to see God's kingdom move forward, we have to come together. And we've been seeing that. So please be praying for us. Also buy into the vision. A united church is a growing church. So please, that's all we have to say. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mr. Usu. You are always welcome anytime. I'm glad you moved to Maryland. So we're going to change from VA to MD. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we lift up our hands? Uh, 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 uh. Come. Come. It's your birthday. Come on, bring her. Come on, bring her. She is the queen among the kids. Because today is her birthday. Shall we pray for the kids? Hallelujah. Pray, you have given your money to the kids. It's time for you to pray for them. Lift up your hands. They are about to go to school next week. We commit all of them into the blood of Jesus. Some of you, you felt so uncomfortable. It felt like there was chaos in the house. I beg you, it is not chaos. The Bible says if you go to churches, the adults will be jumping and jumping and jumping. And they put the kids in a room and they give them pizza. And when they go home, they are wondering why my kids is following uh, TikTok. Why is my, my kid on drug? Why is my kids going out? Because you neglected them. You did not brought them into the house. The disciples were doing the same thing. But Jesus shouted at them and said, what? Suffer not. Right? The little children to come unto me. For theirs is what? The kingdom, the kingdom of God. We are all going to be old. What children, what youth are we raising? Shall we pray? Lift up the children before the Lord. Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Father, lift up your hands. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Touch our kids in the name of Jesus. I don't want you to stand there. Open up your mouth. Begin to utter a word. Even if your child is not here, pray for somebody's child. In the name of Jesus. The time is fast, friend. But I plead with you. I'm begging you. In the name of Jesus. Begin to open up your mouth. Begin to say, in the name of Jesus. La broqueteria bara 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 babo in the name of Jesus ne breka nada bara bara babo every child that perform here may the power of the Lord open up your mind to do more in the name of Jesus may the glory of the Lord begin to shine upon the Bible says that the latter days shall be greater than the former these kids are the future shall we pray that the spirit of the Lord will touch them in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus grace. Let's stretch forth our hands of grace. Today is her birthday. Begin to touch. Tell the Lord. She is four years old. May the anointing of the Lord, may the power of the Lord bring glory to her latter for any days from now till she turns 18 to begin to do whatever an adult should to do. Shall we pray for grace in the name of Jesus? Grace, you grow to be, oh sorry, baby faith in the name of Jesus. Baby faith in the name of Jesus. May you grow. May you grow to be the lad, the lad, the lad, the lad that God wants you to be. Begin to stretch forth your hand upon her in the name of Jesus. May this day be a day that the Lord has made in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you for supporting the kids. Hallelujah. Amen. We have some visitors among us. Eh? We have some visitors among us. But uh if you are here for the first time shall we recognize you shall we recognize you hello hello let's give a clap let's give a clap hallelujah let's give a clap sorry for the chaos but i know next week when you come you're going to see chaos real chaos hallelujah i want you to introduce yourself to the whole church please the lord my name is vivian i'm Sister Ida, we invite you today. Sister, can we step forward? We can't leave you. Come forward. Let's pray for you. Hallelujah. Is there any other visitor among us? Oh, any other visitor? Oh, no. Ebony is not a visitor. She came here last week. Please, can you find jollof rice for Ebony for me? Yes. She was craving for jollof yesterday. So, Auntie Louise, I'll find jollof for you, okay? Shall we pray for her? Everybody, stretch forth your hand. In the name of Jesus. What was your name again? 
Vivian, let's pray for Vivian in the name of Jesus. Commit her into the blood of Jesus. We soak Vivian in the blood of Jesus. May the purpose and the reason for her coming here, may it be established in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that any weapon, arrows formed against you because of your coming here today, may the Lord of ghosts go to fight for you in the name of Jesus. We pray that everything that you do and touch this week will be blessed in the name of Jesus. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we be seated. Is there anything else? Anything else? Okay. Word of thanks. Okay, come on. Go real quick. Hello. Hallelujah. Amen. We just want to say a very big thank you to everybody who came out to support us. We cannot do this without you. And so we want to say thank you. And then it has gotten to my notice that we were able to raise $745. We are so thankful. I, I cannot even express it, but I want to say a very big thank you. Next year, come back here. It will be bigger, bigger times three. I'm telling you, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Shall we all stand up and share the grace? Me. Go around and shake somebody as we share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Say, surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Thank you for coming. God bless you, brother. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen.